Hello? Yeah, we're good though. We're on. We're on the air. We're live? Not saying it. Say it! Come on! Chef Jay, this is Late to Plate, and this is the first episode of 2018, no? That's it. Torn didn't come last week to do the last episode of 2017, but this is the first episode of 2018. Uh... We're on crappie again, eh? And we're still on the crappie. Crappie and Italian. Crappie and Italian. So, uh, folks, what we're going to do this year is really focus on simple. Right, Torn? Like, the chef inside me is not going to get super creative and start rolling things in puff pastry and adding this and adding that. No more frog's legs. No more frog's legs. I mean, all that stuff is fun and interesting and exciting and using uh, underutilized uh, animals and whatever, right? But the reality of it is, is uh, we want to make it so simple that you can come to 18 Sunnyside Road, pick up the fish, stop by your local Safeway Wholesale, No Frills, Frosted Foods, where else? Oh, Key Waiting Place, you can go see the uh, Al. Al at the butcher shop and uh, get the vegetables, right? So today's... Uh, Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. Great. Hey, that's a, that's an AA thing, eh? Is it? Did you know that? I used to uh, say that a lot when I coached hockey. Did you say it in your presidential run in Thunder Bay at uh, the university? Uh, no, didn't say that. Just said, keep the beer pouring. <laughs> and you didn't get it, I right? don't know why I didn't get why it. Why did you get Still it? Still trying to figure it I out. I don't get it either, because like, to me, you're... Well, you're the president of Freshwater oh, Cuisine, are you? Oh, title? Are you the president now? No. Okay, so uh, today we're taking on a classic dish, right? So I'm sure you guys have heard chicken parmesan, right? So we're going to do... Parmesan. 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 It's not French, it's Italian. Well, I'm not Italian. You're not I'm French Iceland either. I'm Icelandic. Are you? Didn't you know that? No. Huh. Anyways, so we're going to do crappie parmesan. Is that better? Don't like it. Don't like it at all, eh? Okay, so we're going to do crappie parmesan... And then we're also going to do it on uh, fried fennel, fried leek, fried onion. We need to get a new... Uh, well, we should probably just get a better thing. We need to get that. a new camera. Okay, let's throw this out there. Anybody out there watching us, because I know there's 100,000 of you right now, we're looking for a camera. <laughs> Anybody got a camera? Okay, so we're also going to... Uh, so we're using the leek, we're using the fennel, we're using the onion... We're using up the peppers, so we're also, in 2018, going to use all the waste that we can possibly use. Right, Torn? And we're also going to put some uh, basil in there, and we're also using some herb-mixed cheese on top, correct? Yes, I was eating a lot of it. And uh, what's exciting is these little containers around... Uh, I don't think you threw enough of them on the counter. I don't think so either, so they probably don't see them. That here is a very exciting... New product that we're working on. I'm not going to say much about it because I don't want to blow it. But here it is. Can you see it? In the comments, if you can guess what that is. What, do you get a jar? I'll say hello to you. Oh, it's, That's great, isn't it's it? It's a lousy gift. Yeah, you can actually have a jar. I will give you a jar if you can guess what that is. Okay, so Torn, let's get this going. I got the oven set at uh, 400. I got a fry pan. So what you want to get is you're going to want to get a... Pan that you can put in the oven. Oven proof pan. Right. You want to get yourself a wok so you can be like the walkie chef, right? I haven't cooked with the wok in a while. No, eh? I know. So we're going to get the uh, heat on, medium heat. What we want to do here, cut the end off the leek. We've washed all of our vegetables. Going to cut it in half. Take some, uh, take some oil. Into the old Panaruski. Thought the leek was going in the wok. It is. Oh. But I want to put a little bit of leek in with the uh, no. this too. You okay with that? No big fennel. Oh, this is leek. I like leeks. Yeah. So I just want to put a little bit of leek in our uh, fry pan. You okay cool. with that? I'm good. You okay with that for the mixture? Are you? Give you a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, so a little bit of leek going in there. Well, Grace wants you to shake some of what's on the uh, in the jar so she can guess. No, shake it on a plate so she can see it. No, that's not allowed. Oh. It's very innovative, Grace. And when we speak innovative, freshwater cuisine 
is a leader in innovation. So we have to be more innovative moving into 2018. So this is very creative, very innovative. Actually, it's like 2020, isn't it? I would like to say 2022. I think so too. Okay, so we want some garlic in there, Torn. The garlic that you uh, chopped up. I did it. He did do that. <clears throat> He's my uh, sous chef, Grace. So we got this. This is going to go back into the uh, into here, and then we're going to move that into the... Should we put some onions in there? Yeah, why wouldn't you put some onions in put there? Some onions Onion in there? and leek. How about some butter? Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with butter. butter. Butter in there. Some onion. Throw some onion in no, there. No, the kids are eating pizza pops. Why wouldn't they just wait to you know, have some crappy parmesan? Well, one doesn't like fish, right? Oh, it's no, it's no tuna fish. <laughs> or crab? Yeah. Eh? The only fish he eats is king crab. <laughs> now I know what we pay him. Don't know where he's getting the king crab. Hey, Peter Ecker, that's all your son eats, king crab. Okay, so this is the easiest way to cut an onion. If you know my good friend Stephen McMillan over there at the Nutra Grill, he's got a great video online how to show you how to cut an onion. Speaking of Nutra Grill, we will be doing some recipes with the Nutra Grill, won't we? Are we? I say yes. Oh. Well, do you agree? Uh, sure. You're the chef. Oh man, that smells good. It does smell nice. Okay, that's going in there. Give it a little toss. And we're gonna put some. Uh... We got. Okay, so we got really easy. We went to uh, our local Safeway. We got crushed tomatoes. Is this easy? It's very easy. So actually, this dish costs. No more than 25 bucks for two people, right? I mean, the most expensive thing is going to be that cheese. And the cheese is on sale right now. Where's the cheese bag? I don't know. But the garbage. You don't really don't need a whole bag don't of cheese. Don't need a whole bag of cheese. Okay, so we throw the tomatoes in here too. And we're going to bring this all up, Torn. We're going to poor man's sauce, really. That's really it. We're going to mix it up. Throw some salt and pepper in there. We're going to cut some basil. Basil's going to hit this too. Now see, when I make a sauce, I like taking whole tomatoes and crushing them out myself. Yeah, you're Italian. Yeah. The sauce is like a work of art, really. Really, it is. But. No making, time for that. But we're making this easy, right? Kiss. Keep it simple. Okay. What else do we need to put in there? Uh, the Salt, basil. pepper. Some red wine would be nice. That would be nice, but that's going a little over the top. Well, I, I meant for me. Oh. Oh, you want some red wine, I yes. guess. Okay, so we got the finest, uh, we grew this actually. Oh. Didn't we grow this? Yeah, yeah, in the uh, herd <laughs> pot over there. <laughs> actually, uh, Safeway has some really nice uh, herbs, don't they? Yeah, they got some great produce this time of year. Real, real nice in Kenora. Yeah, that's one problem. Hey, Fednor, you got to really work on uh, the logistics on getting uh, some real produce here. So if I was doing a stock or I was doing anything like that, we would keep this, right? No. Yeah. Not today. So basically, I just want to just chip and add this. Chip and add. Chip and add. I just want to uh, rough chop. Some people roll it up. As of July 1st, you can roll it up. <laughs> no, can't buy any till July 2nd, though. <laughs> Odd day for legalization. <laughs> okay, so that's just going in there. How easy is that? Pretty simple, right? Yeah, it's simple. Okay, let's get our... Uh, how's the lighting? Oh, it smells nice. No, that's better. That's better. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this up. It smells beauty, eh? It smells delicious. That fresh basil is a great touch. Yeah. Okay, so then this is getting hot, right? It's gonna boil. Now we take. This is how easy this is, Warren. Can put that there. Okay, we got our fish right here. All we do here. So we're gonna brown it? No. Nope. No brown. It's going no. right in. I like a brown. Mha. Mha. <laughs> okay, that's it. Fish in. A little bit more salt and pepper on the top. Then you guess what we do here? Do you guess? Do you uh, guess? I'm going to say we throw her in the oven. That's it, folks. How easy? <clears throat> Was that easy? So now what? Okay, now we get the vegetables going. Just eat some cheese while we do that. You're gonna eat some cheese. I'm gonna eat some cheese. So how was your uh, how was your holidays? Oh, good. Cool. Yeah, what did you do? No, I don't help a lot. What did you do? What did I do? Hmm. <laughs> what did I do, eh? 
Well, if anybody follows me, they know that I struggled all holiday season, eh? No. Which is uh, okay, because uh, Mr. J. Bernard is back mentally. I did the opposite, and I drank a lot over the holidays. Big shout out to uh, Michael Landsberg and the Sick Knot Week team, including uh, Casey Landsberg. Mm. Uh, you know, when a guy is down and out and uh, in hell, uh, support is key, isn't it? Yeah. Torn was there for me, too. As drunk as he was. Okay, so we're just going to be... Uh, just You know me, I like to just find chalk things, right? You actually told me you like things really chunky. It is. No, it's finely chopped. It's the opposite oh. of chunky. Okay. Very good. I like it finely chopped. Right, that's you. Okay. Then we take the fennel. Take the core out. So, uh, Torn doesn't like fennel kind of tastes like on its own uh, in a salad. But when you take fennel and braise it, or when you braise it or you fry it, whole different thing, eh, Torn? Yes, much better. Okay, we're going to put some garlic in there again. Oh, yeah, sizzle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Days. Same thing here. Isn't that nice? Beauty. Throw some garlic in there. You did already. You smell it. <clears throat> I actually like the uh, smell of it. It smells nice. I just don't like the licorice taste. Really, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Boom, beauty. This is going in. Mutes, mutes. That's going in. That's going in. That's sexy, isn't it? Okay, we're also using zucchini. Cut the ends off. Go, uh, getting away from that thinly sliced. Yes. Zucchini's a, a, an amazing vegetable too. It takes on all kinds of flavors. It's got a neutral flavor to it, right? How's that? Oh, nice flip. Nice, eh? A little bit of uh, salt. It's Grace's favorite would be nice in there. A little bit of Pepper? Yeah, Grace's favorite. Grace, we need more spice. Should uh, we throw some paprika? Yeah, a little paprika in there would be nice. <clears throat> Quite on set. Quite on set. You know another one's gonna be nice in here? What's that? One of my favorite spices is this one. Chipotle mango. No. Clubhouse. A little bit of heat, eh? Get some heat going for it. You like the heat? A little heat's nice. Until it's too much heat and it's not nice. Oh, that's a beauty. It's a nice flip. I love the walk. I love using a walk. Right? You love a little walk and roll? That's it. Okay, so. You gotta flip the fish? Not yet. No. What plate are we gonna use? Crucial decision. Favorite? Isn't that beautiful, eh? Anybody guess what that is yet, Torn? Uh, Grace wants to see it on a plate. She said it's not fair that you can't see what it is. Really? Yes. I think you should pour a little out. Grace, with your talent, you should know. Really? Yeah. You gotta pour a little out. How are the people gonna know what it is? I'm gonna pour a little on my hand. Okay. As far as I go. No, okay. I can't. It's sealed. Didn't look that soon. What do you think that is? You gonna eat all that? Nope. No. But I will eat that. You said all I see is white stuff. Hmm. Seen a lot of excuses now. Yeah. Grace? What's going on with you? You're not gonna win the bottle. <laughs> Make sure you have a dry rag for when you go back into your oven. You know, an oven mitt works. That too. Look how beautiful that's coming along. It's not cooked yet. Once it's white, 
we're good to go. White is right. White is right. So let's put this up here. It is not Parmesan cheese. Give it a... No, it's not. Please give me a call. All right, will do. Nice. On set, on set, on set. No phones on set. What are we going to use to flip this over? How about the tongs? Yeah, that would be probably a great spot. Man, that smells good. Um, a little uh, quick fry in the pan, a little brown, a nice quick chicken parm style. Oh, this is, uh, ooh, that's hot. Looks hot. Folks, get your hands right in there. That's what you got to do. Don't, do not, go grab the hat with your bare hands. In we go, we're going to give that another five minutes. We're going to give this a toss. That would probably be a good time to talk about uh, Love Local Box. Yeah, it's coming up. 16th. Coming up the when? 16th. 16th of January. Yes. Uh, I was going to say November, so I do not know what time of year it is. So it's uh, January 2018. Yes. Um, we don't know what we're cooking yet, do we? I don't even know if we chose the fish. No, we haven't. Could do walleye. Should we do walleye? Could do walleye. Hey, Clover Belt members, if you're watching or if you have a desire to watch, let us know what kind of fish you want. If you want walleye, we'll do a walleye dish. If you want mullet, we'll do a mullet dish. We have perch. You want perch? We got nice butterfly perch. We'll do a nice beautiful perch. Maybe we should do perch. We could do perch. You want to do perch? I like perch. Let's do perch. It's a nice fish. Clover mouth members, love local box is yellow perch. Beautiful? Yeah, that's a great fish. What are we going to do with it? Oh man. I really don't know. Something simple. Okay, so now what we want to do, Torn? Is the last... do skewers. I like a skewer. You ever do skewers? Hard to uh skewer a fish? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with it. Okay, so now what we want to do, take some cheese, sprinkle a little on the top. Are you broiling? Yeah, broiling. Beauty. Now we're going back in. Give her a nice crust. Uh, well, if I knew what broil was on this oven. <laughs> hey, broil king, we need um, an oven. Gonna go with that's not it. Just gonna eat a little more cheese over here, just putting that out there. Beauty, the veg are nice. Good in there, eating cheese. Here's our beautiful oven. So we got the leeks in here, we got the fennel, we got the zucchini, we got the uh, paprika, we got the salt pepper, we got the garlic, and we got the uh, clubhouse uh, chipotle mango. Beauty? Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just going to take a little finger of that. Oh, that is hot. Why did yeah. I grab that? What? Hmm. How is it? It's very good. So healthy, right? Yep. Easy. It's like bingo bango. On the bongos. On the bongos. Now we just gotta hope that the cheese is uh, coming together underneath. What else is going on with us? Mm. I'm just eating whatever's on the table. Anything else going on? Pretty slow. Pretty slow, eh? It's cold. It's real cold. I do not like it. Speaking for myself, but I feel like you're probably in the same boat. <laughs> Are they done with winter? Um, winter's been way too long. I'm, okay. That doesn't... Beauty. Okay. I see one nice, beautiful piece here. Okay. So, TV, we must move on. Right? Yes. And that is beautiful. So then what we want to do, Torn, is take another spoon. Let's take this. All right, put on a little. So I want to take some of this. Then I want to take my fish. Get a nice little cheese burger hanging yep, down. I saw that. 
That's my little fish. Fish and dish. Now I'm gonna take some more of this. Some sauce. Yep. Nice little strand of basil there. And we want to clean this up. Right? You know what would have been real nice? A little fresh parmesan on top. It would have been. What about some of these? What are they? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like on there. Should we? Might as well. <clears throat> Here's the first usage of this very creative and innovative product, which we're not going to share yet because it's too innovative and too creative, isn't it? Yeah. Peter Ecker. You'd be proud right now, Peter Ecker. Oh my God, Torn, that's absolutely sexy, isn't it? It is. Boom, and then we take a little bit of this, finish it off. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's crappie parmesan with sauteed zucchini, sauteed fennel, sauteed leeks, garlic, with beautiful tomatoes on top, and a beautiful secret ingredient that we're not about to share. What do you think something like that would go for? Huh. That's a twenty-five ninety-nine. Entree. Twenty-five ninety-nine, folks. It's so easy to cook with local, wild-caught, freshwater fish. It's actually the sky's the limit with it, isn't it? It's really too easy. It's really too easy. That how easy was that? Really? Oh, you should take this cheese away from me. Next week, we're gonna stick on crappie. One more week. One more week of crappie, and then we move on to love local. Love local box. Then we're going to move on to walleye. Good old walleye. How does that sound? Sounds good. Bye-bye. Uh,